you see if I just hit on. Okay, so it's made a sound, so it's, it's working. Oh, did you guys hear the power coming? Oh, this is exciting. So you hit, th this activates it. Let's see if a ball's about to shoot out. What's up guys? Welcome to the idiot's guide on how to use the slinger bag. Now this is my first time using the slinger and when it comes to technology, I am an idiot. So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Oh so I have no idea how this is going to go. That's why I thought it would be a good idea to make this video. I've been excited about the Slinger bag for a long time. I want to give Slinger a big shout out and thank you. They're going to be part of TennisCon 6. So they're going to be doing a presentation at TennisCon 6 and they're also going to be raffling a Slinger bag away to a lucky winner. They might even do two. I don't know. We'll see. But if you sign up and get your free ticket, go up here in the card section or down in the description box. If you just sign up for a free ticket to TennisCon, which uh, features the best coaches on the planet to help you get better, you will be entering in a raffle to win one of these bad boys right here. So first of all, the first thing I can say about the Slinger bag that I like is this right here. Okay? It's like we can go through the airport right here with our Slinger bag and, uh, you know, be ready to play some tennis on the plane. So that's pretty cool. I figured out how to do that. All you gotta do is just take this up and down. Super easy, super convenient. All right, now the rest we're gonna start figuring out together because I really just by intention have not even really experimented. I wanna know nothing and so you can really see how an idiot operates this thing. All right, so I'm gonna open up right here and see what we have in here. They got a bunch of cool zippers that you're like, what is it? It's like a bunch of presents that you get to open. All right, so here's what's in the first one, which I imagine, I know it comes with a pickup tube. So that's pretty cool to help you pick up your tennis balls. All right, awesome. Very, very cool, very handy. So you can go around, pick up your tennis balls. I also love how they made this right here look like a tennis ball. Very cool. Nice little touch slinger. All right, so we have that because we will be hitting balls. The goal today is to hit cross court forehands, okay? I'm hoping to have a cross court forehand practice that we can basically do together at the end of this video. And I'll be doing a lot more. If, if you want to see a lot more drills on how to use a ball machine, specifically how to use a slinger bag, we're going to be doing lots of drills on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, so there you go. That was simple enough. I kind of want to open up the side compartments. Now this right here, what is this? Right here they have a nice, which I've always said, hey guys, if you want to practice and you want to get better, make sure you record yourself. So this right here is something I imagine you can put on the slinger bag itself or on the fence to record yourself. Very, very cool. You could probably put it right here, yeah, and record yourself. This is a great, this is a great idea, Slinger. Yeah, because that's how you really get better. The Slinger bag is great for practicing by yourself. So you can record yourself right there. That's that's awesome. Okay, so far I think the idiot is doing pretty well. All right, now putting this back away, we'll put this back. All right, not putting it back in the box, Pete. Put it back in the box so you don't lose it. That's another thing I do too. When you get new stuff, don't you always lose the accessories? I'm not very good at keeping the accessories. All right, but we're putting it back in its nice box. They really laid this out nicely with all the zippers, all the compartments. Okay, next compartment, we're gonna bring this around right here. We'll open up this, and this, I do know what's in here. This is the plug that comes, and I'll show you guys. So what you do here, is you take this, another thing I like is they've got different adapters for different countries, okay? So in the United States, this is what our plug looks like, but they also have some for the European plug. So that's a nice touch since it's such an international product. So you take down here, you open up this compartment, which is where your ball machine lives, and you plug in, put it into the wall, Make sure you do that before you hit the courts, otherwise you're gonna be playing with a dead ball machine. You don't wanna play with a dead ball machine. That's not a very good idea. Okay, and you've got your feed. So how fast or how slow do you want the ball to go out? Let me, let me move the camera here. I think I'm being an idiot by you guys not being able to see this, okay? I'm gonna put it down there. There's B2. Everybody say hi to B2. B2, you wanna go chase the ball? B2's gonna go chase a tennis ball. There he goes. 
give this video a like because B2's chasing a tennis ball. Anyway, we got our ball machine on. You can see that the balls will come out here. And also on the side, I did check this out. We'll come closer on the side. This is where you put your elevation up and down. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Uh, so there we go. So this thing's ready to roll. I'm going to save the power by turning it off. And then I believe up here is where you'd start putting in on the tennis balls. So right in there is where you'd put all the tennis balls and it spins around. Classic ball machine setup, right? All right, putting in the tennis balls now. Now is where we're getting ready to party, have some fun. By the way, the way I like to use a ball machine is I know a lot of people just set the ball machine up on the other side and have it start fe feeding rockets at you. I like to start slow and simple, get my timing for the ball and feel it. So I like to start in a short court. So I'm gonna have the ball just basically feed on our side if I can set that up, a nice light feed and start hitting. Okay, so this is uh, pretty good, pretty good right there. That's enough balls to get the party started. All right, so here we go. So I'll move this out of the way. We're gonna get ready to hit some balls. Okay guys, so we got the slinger bag ready to go. I'm gonna turn the power on again. I'm gonna set it to coming out slow. So I'm just gonna see what this looks like. And then, I don't know, I've got it, got it going. Now how do I get the balls to actually start shooting? That's the question, because the thing is on. Put the elevation up a bit, plug that. Is there a remote control? That's, that. Is there a remote control that starts this puppy going? Why is this not rotating? Okay, first part, the idiot's got a problem. I turned the machine on, I put it on here, but how do you get the thing to actually start spinning around and rotating? I don't know. I'm going to assume that there's also a remote control in here, and we might have to do this video over because it might require the remote control to start it. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. This looks really awesome, okay? This looks really awesome. Okay, so the idiot is figuring things out here. So let me see if I just hit on. Okay, so it's made a sound, so it's, it's working. Oh, did you guys hear the power coming? Oh, this is exciting. So you hit, th this activates it. Let's see if a ball's about to shoot out. Here it comes. Come on. We hear it working. Let me see what's going on. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. We got a ball shoot out. So obviously, oh, here we go. Another ball shot out. Let's see. I want to turn the, the feed a little faster. Let's see. How, let's take a look here from the, from the back. How far the ball is shooting out. I have it really low. Okay. That's actually quite nice. That's actually quite nice. Look. So the ball, the ball is coming out. We're just gonna move it back further. Look how nice you can move it back. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna start hitting balls right now. We're going right into this. This is exciting. My first slinger bag hits. Look, I can take this and I can turn it off anytime I want. How powerful is that? Okay. So my first hits on a Sunday. Ooh, that thing's got some spin. That thing kicks out some spin. Whoa! This thing, guys, has got crazy toss spin when it hits. Okay, so when it hits, just know it picks up speed. So now I'm kind of ready for that. So it helps you really adapt your game. But yeah, it shoots some nice speed out there. Be ready for the kick, guys. So this will help you if you have trouble playing people who hit with nice spin. This will help you get ready for their kick. So this will help, this is great training for when I want to play Rafa. But uh, feels pretty good. Let me turn it, see, look at that. Just turn it off. The ball should stop feeding here. Let's see. Yeah. Whoops. Let me try it again. It's still feeding. Off. Oh, I see. I see what I did. See that? Why well, I didn't turn off the first time? Again, the idiot is the oscillator. I hit the oscillator off. But you just hit this on and off. If you don't have the oscillator going, which we'll do another video on the oscillator, you basically hit that, okay? So, yeah, so let's do some cross-court forehands. What we'll do to end this video, this, thing, this thing's coming at a good pace, uh, and I have a lesson coming. So I think that this will be fine for my practice today. Cross-court forehands, I'm gonna see how many I make out of the balls that are left. And I've gotta make it cross-court, pass a service box, we'll see how many I make. Are you ready? 
Let's go. Make sure that you sign up for TennisCon 6 so you can enter a raffle to get one of these. Go up here in the card section, go in the description box, sign up for TennisCon 6. That puts you in a raffle to win a Slinger bag. And I can tell you, I already loves it. Thank you, Slinger. Okay, guys, so now we're going to turn on the Slinger bag. We're going to just finish this uh, um, video by seeing how many I can make out of 20 cross court past the service line. First two or three, I'm not going to count because I want to get used to the ball coming out again and the rhythm, and then we'll keep score. All right, when it makes that beep, that second beep, I believe they're gonna start coming here in a second. So here we go, there it goes, all right. So obviously that didn't count. Here we go. We'll do one more practice. All right, cool. Now this counts. One for one. Two for two. Three for three. Four for four. Five for five. Pulled off that ball. Do you guys see that? Five for six. Stay with it with the body. Six for seven, I think. Or it could be out. I don't know. You guys judge. Seven for eight. We'll do, I think I might be out of balls. I don't know, so we'll stop it. Anyway guys, there you go. You see, you see how the slinger bag works. I'm out of balls, gotta go pick up. But it's a lot of fun. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you sign up for TennisCon 6 so you can enter a raffle to win one of those things. And we're gonna be back with a lot more drills and thrills on how to use your slinger bag and how to get better tennis and all that kind of good stuff. We'll see you guys in the next video.